All right, guys, we're going to put on a cast today for all those who want to know how to put on a cast. Um, we already have the stockinette over the leg. We have other supplies here, the web roll. And you also need a couple tongue depressors. And this is preference, but it's probably a good idea to start with two three-inch plaster casts and one four-inch. All right. Yeah. So we'll put the tongue depressors in the medial and lateral side of the foot, like so. And then one at the top. All right. So you notice how his knees are already bent. Um, this is a good idea because you're going to be eliminating the gas shock to help you flex the foot to 90 degrees, and that's how normally you would want to cast a or cast a foot at 90. So you can take some web roll, or you can make a cut there too. Okay. So with the rebel, you want to start going from distal to proximal. Um, and if you have the patient try to flex his foot just a little bit to 90, it will help you when you have to do it yourself. Because then they won't be fighting it when you put the plaster on. And the web roll doesn't have to be perfect. You can just lay it on because there's a lot of it they're going to be putting on. Um, what, what we're looking for here is the fibular head, and we want to be just about two finger breaths from the fibular head, because we don't want the cast going up too proximal. Yeah. And another thing here is to, I don't know if you can see the camera, but make sure the web roll comes down to a little further on the, on the planter side. So up to the sulcus, a lot of times it's easy to miss, and sometimes it's not as far out. So you want that web roll to extend um, on the planner aspect, which is exactly what we're trying to do. And then there are a couple areas where we want to give the patient some extra protection around the malleoli of the ankle and the heel. Yeah, just a little bit more. And so we reinforce the heel, especially with people that we think might walk on it more than they should. So the cast doesn't break down. And just like the web rolls, start rolling it on from distal to proximal. The key to rolling on the fiberglass is making sure the first layer and the second and third are not too tight, so you just lay it on as it rolls on naturally. We don't want to make a cast that's going to be too tight around the foot. And again, making sure we preserve the 90 degrees um, of dorsiflexion. This will be our final layer, and the only thing we got to do here is roll back this nice stocking net that you've made. And 
and just go right over that stock and that. And so the only thing we think about on this layer is just making it look good because this is what the patient will be stuck with for as long as the cast is on. All right, the final step, yep, soap in the hands and just rub it all over the cast. Smooth out the edges. If you want to take a look on the side, it still has a 90 degree that we were looking for.